Dame, what's happening? Right, so as requested for the man, Curtis Coley, here's a video on how to process vocals. Personally, I use Slate plugins, but I know that most of you won't have Slate, so I'm going to use a combination of t rex Fab Filter, and Waves. And I've got this, my, my good friend Steve Senior, aka Blue Eyes, Steve Waterfield has sent me this vocal to use for the video. And he started doing work out of Evo Studios. So if you're looking for a singer songwriter, if you're if you're looking for a good vocalist to work with, get in touch with Colin and he'll he'll hook you up with pricing and whatnot. But anyway, here's a wee preview of the track. If the fish swam out of the ocean, the legs and they started walking. The apes climbed down from the trees, grew tall and they started talking. Right, and the only thing, the only thing that I've done prior to this video is I've split up every sentence and I've just have adjusted the volume each sentence so that it's kind of fairly consistent so that the volume's kind of the same all the way through because we're going to compress this and we don't want the compressor to work harder than it needs to and the first thing I'll do to a vocal is I'll put a Fab Filter Pro Q3 on and I'll just roll up I'll just roll off the lows yeah. Roughly about 150. Yeah. Because we're going to have a kick and a bass in our dance music track. So we want to keep this space here in the mix free for the kick and bass to punch through. And after that, I'll add a bit of compression. So I'm going to add this T Rex. Black compressor. I love this compressor. I'm going to put my attack all the way fast and my release all the way fast. I know this looks like I'm putting the attack slow, but on this compressor, it's backwards. I don't know why, but that is what it is. And I'm just going to push gain into it until. A lot of people say that you only want to do 2, 3, 4, 5 dB again reduction, but I don't go with that. I do about. 7 to 10 so we'll push we'll push getting in and we'll get we'll get this down to about 7 or 10 yeah that is all just a bunch and that's her cause if you're not really here I don't wanna be either I wanna be next to you right that's we'll put we'll put an oscilloscope on just so that we can see what we're doing to the signal, right? Yeah, that is all just the band. Right, let's turn the output down a wee bit because that's yeah. wild. That is all just a bunch and that's her. Cause if you're not really here, I don't wanna be either. So this is that oath. Yeah. That is all just a bunch and that's her. You see how there's bits that are dead quiet and bits that are dead loud. That's what we we want to make all the bits. We want to make all the audio kind of even so that it's consistent and it cuts through the mix. So this is that on. Yeah, that is all just a bunch and that's her. Cause if you're not really here. Right, so that's that. We will compress it again. I use like three compressors or something on a vocal, but you'll see that. And then I'm going to put a T Rex EQ P1A on. And you see that's 12k. I'm just going to push some 12k up, and this will brighten the vocal. Really Bring the yeah. band vibe down a wee bit. Really 
Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. Right, that's brung out some nice air in his voice. Made it nice and bright, but it's also made the S's quite harsh. So, what we do then is we put on a de We can just go for a male de because Steve is a male. Yeah. And we'll just bring down the threshold and this this will control the S's that this EQ brought up because when we brought that up and made the high end nice and bright, the S's they get harsh and our music is going to be played on big sound systems so these S's will absolutely destroy people's ears so we want to control that yeah. like this. That is honest, yeah. That is honest a bunch and that's her Cause if you're not really here I don't wanna be either I wanna be next to you Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold There we go, that'll do me Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, yeah if Right, what I've noticed here is See when we see when we compress a a vocal, it can bring up some white noise. Like so just in here. You hear that room noise? We don't want that in our track, so I'm gonna loop a wee bit of that room noise. And I'm gonna use this plugin from Waves called X Noise. I'm gonna put it on like before the compressors and stuff. Right, so my computer had a, miss a hissy fit there, but I'm going to loop a wee bit of this room noise and I'm going to use this plugin called X Noise for waves. And while I've looped this, I'm just going to click Learn. And then I'm going to click Learn again. I'm going to bring the attack and the release down and I'm going to take the reduction up to 100 and then I'm going to play with the threshold until we the threshold until we get rid of that white noise If the fish swam out of the ocean grew legs and they started Ooh, oh. You need to be careful with this threshold because if we take it up too much the vocal will start sounding Bad Ooh, like this. If the fish swam, so if the fish, if if the fish swam out of the ocean, grew legs and they started walking. The apes climbed down from the tree. So there we go. We've got a nice clean vocal and maybe push some more high end. If the fish swam out of the ocean. Grew legs and they started walking The apes climbed down from the trees Grew tall and they started talking The stars fell out of the sky It's starting to sound really good, aren't it? And... The next thing that I'll do is I'll add some... Some reverb and some delay what I'll do is I'll add an audio effect track. So there. Yeah. And if I click on these three wee dots here, these three, this button with the three dots and lines on it, and then I'll add a utility, and I'll rename the utility to dry. And this is going to be our dry signal. And if I take... You don't need to use Vintage Verb, but I like Valhalla Vintage Verb because it's it's just amazing. I like the 80s preset. And so I've dropped the Vintage Verb into the audio effect track. And I'll rename it Reverb. Make sure that this is 100% wet. Because what the effect track does is it gives you a separate volume fader for your dry signal. And your reverb. If the fish swam out of the ocean, 
So I'll take that down to minus 12. I'm just going to leave these settings as they are. In fact, I... And I'm going to... Get an EQ. I'm going to put it in the reverb channel. I'm just going to roll off the lows and the highs. So I'll roll off the lows about 300. If the fish... If the fish... If the fish swam out of the ocean... There you go. And the next thing that we can do is... We can add a glue compressor. And we can activate the side chain. And we can route the vocal in it. And then if we select what part of the vocal activates the side chain, then we can go dry. So now the reverb is going to side chain to the dry signal. And all we do is bring the attack and release down. And then the threshold. If the fish swam out of the ocean, the legs and they started walking. So I'll solo the vocal. I'll actually go overboard so that you can hear this better. If the fish swam out of the ocean, the legs and they started walking. The apes climbed down from the hill to the top of fear. Dead. So I that gives you an idea. I like to just I like to just have it to about maybe taking minus five. See taking five off with the reverb come uh, with the reverb side chain. And then I'll just bring the volume down to the reverb. Nice. And then I'll just add a delay in. Let's use a waves H delay. And we'll just find a preset we like. I quite like this wide delay, it's nice. But this track is in triplets, so we'll have it at 114. We'll maybe try 18 triplets. And you see these plugins here that we've got in the reverb. I'm just going to highlight these and I'm going to hold control and drop it on to the delay. And now the delay is going to be EQ'd the same as the reverb. And it's going to react to the dry signal and come and sidechain the delay out the way when the vocal's playing. To the top of fear. Let's balance the volume a bit. Let's rename it. Delay. To the top of fear. That is honest a bunch and that's her. Cause if you're not... See that's analog button? Always turn this off because that adds hiss. We don't want hiss in my track. This is no nice. Right. And the final thing that I'll do is I'll add another compressor after the effects rack and I'll just put the attack and release up again and I'll compress the reverb, the delay and the dry signal together. To the top of fear, that is honest, a bunch and that's a and I'll like this. if you're not really here I don't wanna be either I wanna be next to you black and I actually quite like this, where is it? The white, the T-Rex white compressor, I like to use that as well. Where is it? There it's there. No, there it's there. I'll use that before the black one, but I won't be as harsh with this. To the top of fear, that is honest, a bunch and that's In fact, I will be quite harsh with it. To the top of fear, that is honest, a bunch and that's to the top of fear That it's honest a bunch and that's her Cause if you're 
and I know that that reverb and delay is a wee bit overboard for an acoustic track, but you're not going to be making an acoustic track, are you? If the fish swim, let's balance the volumes a wee bit. Let me rename these track Vox and piano. If the fish swam out of the ocean Put legs and they started walking The apes climbed down from the trees Grew tall and they started talking The stars fell out of the sky The tears rolled into the ocean I'm looking for a reason why You set my world in some motion Cause if you're not really here Stars don't even matter You feel to the top of fit Alright I think that'll do these Right, but actually I'll recap Right, so first we put on a bit of an EQ Then we compressed it to level out the dynamics a bit Then we added some high-end brightness with this pool tech emulation but that made the S's a bit harsh so we used a de to bring the S's down then we used an audio effect track to add some reverb which we then EQ'd and sidechained to the dry signal and then we done the same with the delay and we copied the EQ and the compressor settings so that that also sidechained to the dry signal then we added this LA-2A compressor Then we added this Black 76 which is an emulation of a 1176 for the 50s or 70s or some shit but and then that's it your vocal sounding big your vocal sounding even your vocal sounding fat and you can get making some music anyway I know this was a wee bit of a long video so see if you go this far into it type Harry Banjo in the comments I'm out like a video